So, I have a confession to make. I haven't been the biggest fan of chatbot builders out there. Most of them are either too technical or not technical enough. And because we use Airtable so much within our agency, most of them don't really connect to it really well. And it's a little bit unintuitive when it comes to actually setting something up that's useful. But all of this up until now. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Landbot, which I think is one of the best builders out there that I can make sense of that is well priced integrates with WhatsApp, and you can do so, so many cool things with it. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to build a simple web chatbot, but in the next video, we're going to be taking a look at how to connect WhatsApp to it. And that's where the fun really happens. So without any further ado, let's go. All right, so we're gonna start things off as we usually do with a very quick demo of the system. The system being a very simple chatbot for a hospital or like a clinic. And the big idea is that we're gonna be using Airtable as our, so to speak, knowledge base and also a place to record callbacks. So the general idea is that we have this chatbot where people can find out information about a particular doctor for a particular department that they are after. Uh, and also, if they need a callback, they can just like go through the chatbot and we can collect their info and push all of that into Airtable. Now, the cool thing about this is that if some doctor, for instance, when we're, you know, going through the knowledge base, so to speak, is not there, i.e. they're not available, that is going to be reflected immediately in the chatbot. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. So test this bot. And I haven't published this bot yet, but I'm only like a button away from that. So as you can see here, we've got our landscape version of the bot, but I can also have my like little window mobile version of the bot as well. So uh, here we go. We have, hey, welcome to Sonorous Hospital. How can we help? Let's say I want to find a doctor. Uh, great. Which department are you interested in? And for now, I'm just going to make all the doctors available. So let's say I'm looking for doctors in the pediatrics uh, department and I want to uh, see who's available. Let's go with Isabella. And there are their details. We can uh, start again. Let's say we take Isabella out. Let's say she's not available. And yes, I still want to find a doctor. I am interested in pediatrics. And you can see only Maxwell is available now there are a few interesting parts to this like details essentially that i'm super super keen on and the first one and i don't know if you noticed it there is a way to choose an option there is like a you you have your like buttons but if i want to go x-ray if there is like a very long list of things that you need it's there um now let's actually start this again and let's see how we can actually capture people's info so let's go ahead and request a callback okay great we can uh, get that arranged immediately what's your name my name is uh let's say john thanks john what's your number um yep uh can you tell us in a few words what seems to be the nature blah 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 send Thanks, John. We'll be in touch on the number that you've provided. You, you should receive a call back within 24 hours. And let's go to our callbacks. And there's John. How awesome is that? Let's do that again. So um, request a callback. Mic, phone number, test. And it's basically instant. Now, of course, you can trigger other automations and kind of, you know, spice things up. But this is just a basic demo of how we can uh, work with Landbot. So without any further ado, let's take a look at how the database is set up. To be fair, there's not much to discuss, but I'm going to show you anyway. OK, the database, Airtable. You know we love Airtable. So yeah, essentially we have three simple uh, tables in our hospital database. We have our list of departments and nothing really crazy here we just have a simple connection to the doctors the doctors table stores all of our uh, doctors information again super straightforward nothing really crazy i just have the concatenated version of the department uh useful for later on uh i'll show you 
how that whole thing works in Landbot. Then we have just the contact uh, details, email, phone, and all of that. And we also have like a little checkbox here that um, says if the doctor is available or not. Uh, callbacks. Now, uh, again, very straightforward, nothing uh, really connected to anything else. It's just a place where I want to record the name, the phone, and some notes for that person. Uh, along with his status, whether, you know, we've called them or not. Now, that's it in terms of the database. And let's get into the meat and potatoes of this whole project, which is setting up the chatbot in Landbot. Let's go. Okay, now, let's start at the beginning. Landbot.io. Go there and sign up. There is a link down in the description below, by the way, which will really help us as a channel. If you use that, it's an affiliate link. Uh, it will help support the channel. Thank you for using that. Uh, but yeah, as soon as you're in, all you have to do is just uh, jump into the bot builder um, and build a chatbot. Choose web and I would say start from scratch. Now, I've already done mine. So yeah, let's just jump straight into that. But I'll explain everything. So here we go. Starting point. Sadly, with the starting point, you can't really do much with it. But the next thing that you need to throw in is a buttons module just press plus on this little thing and choose the first thing that you see buttons now in my buttons i have actually added the following i've added two messages the first message is hey welcome to sonar's hospital second message is how can we help and you can do that by just adding add message over here you can also add media so you can like throw a gif in there but yeah that's that. Then we have two buttons. Find a doctor, request a callback. Straight forward. The next thing that you kind of need to know is save user answer in the field. And I'm saving this as a multi-choice custom field. Here's the thing. Every chatbot in Landbot technically is uh, almost like a table in a database. At least that's how I imagine it. And, and any single response that you send can be stored as a field, just like we have fields in a database, like the phone field, the notes field, the status field. So yeah, I'm storing my uh, response, save the user answer in the field, and I just created a, a new field called request for, and I've chosen multi-choice. So from there, the next thing we have like two choices here, right? We have either finding a doctor or requesting a, a callback. So the thing that I want to explore first is finding a doctor because that's the most interesting part, I believe, where we are querying Airtable. And yeah, there's just a lot more stuff going on. So first and foremost, we have a message. Which department are you interested in? The next thing that I'm doing, and this is just a simple message, right? The next thing that I'm doing is I'm actually fetching data from Airtable at that moment live. So first thing you have to do is actually connect your account. You have to enter in a name and add an access token. Uh, of course, in Airtable, you, can, you probably know how to get an access token. You need to provide uh, a bunch of different things. But yeah, access token, uh, as soon as you do that, you can choose the base then we choose the table uh, and then we want to choose the action and i'm choosing get multiple records the next thing that i'm doing i'm actually actually there's no filters to this to be honest um, and the next thing that i'm doing is i'm actually saving this list as fields and you have to give this a name i've called it available departments and you need to store it as an array so the next thing that we need to do is actually jump into dynamic data and as you can see um you can add a question text so in my case i'm just i just want to say that look this is the list of departments i'm mapping in the array that i've created over here uh and yeah that's basically it i just want to say that i want to display this as buttons and by the way choose objects in this case because essentially Every record in Airtable comes in as an object and it's a little bit of an annoying thing to understand, but technically it's a record. And then here I can type in which field from that record I want to pull in. So the field name is name and I just type this in here and you see, I actually need the text for the button and I just saying name name from the Airtable record because that's what the field is called. I could have written status and that would bring in just the status value and that's it. Uh, you can also set up the value that you want to store. You can also add emojis, images and yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is how my setup looks like right now. Uh, and I'm also um, 
saving all of this in a field called chosen department. Just a simple text, nothing crazy. I need to use that later. So let's uh, cancel out of this. The next thing that we need to do is we actually need to query Airtable again. But in this case, there is a little bit of a formula that you need to write. And that formula looks somewhat like this. And it follows our standard Airtable formula syntax. So we have and available equals one because I'm technically inside of my doctor's table. And again, I want to get multiple records, but I want to filter them, right? I want to make sure that I'm getting only the doctors that are available. And because we have a check, like a little check mark here, that translates in formula syntax as zero or one. So this is a zero, this is a one. From there, the next thing that, the next parameter that we're kind of like gauging against is the department name. Remember that we actually had to set up a, like a concatenated version of the department? This is exactly why because I want to compare the department name within this table to the at chosen department uh, from my previous output, right? Where we chose a department. So to do that, all you have to do is just click on fields and you'll find that chosen department over there and just map it in. Uh, it does map a little bit weirdly, to be honest. Uh, there you go. Well, it did map it, but it does act up a little bit. So in this case, I'm just gonna go out of that. Now from there, we just store that list of available doctors over here, again, as an array, simple stuff, nothing really crazy going on. So the next thing that we need to do is actually again, create a dynamic uh, data module. And in this case, I'm saying, great, let's see who's available at the chosen department, right? At the OBGYN department or something. And we select the array to iterate that's called available doctors, the one that we just saved um, in this Airtable module over here. Display data buttons, full name and full name. I also want to store the full name as is. Not only am I displaying the full name, I'm also storing the full name. Simple as that. Uh, horizontal, no, 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 no. And we store that choice, the choice that the user makes as chose doctor. Simple text, nothing crazy going on. From there, the next thing that we're doing is we're actually fetching that doctor uh, or more specifically the specifics of that particular doctor. So again, using an Airtable module, I'm hitting the same uh, table doctors, but this time I'm just getting one record. I'm not getting multiple. So here, full name equal to chose doctor, simple stuff. Um, and I'm also saving the record values as fields. So more specifically, I'm here defining that the field contact telephone that is in my Airtable database, I want you to store it as a field in Landbot called cdoctel, chosen doctor telephone, right? From there, the next thing is email, cdoc email, and just simple text, right? I'm not going crazy with this. And that's basically that. Apply. The next thing that I'm doing is I'm just displaying a simple message that says, here are their details. And again, jump into fields, find cdoctel, cdoc email, and just add them in like so. From there, just a simple goodbye message. I'm just saying that hope this was helpful. And there's a start again button that just simply says start again. Now, let's take a look at the other case where we simply gather some data and push that into Airtable. Super simple, actually much simpler than the, uh, than the scenario that we have above. Um, and we start back here where we choose request callback. Okay, great, Can uh, we can get started, blah, 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 blah. Just a simple message. We're just displaying something to the user. Then we're simply asking for their name. So jump in here, messages uh, or sorry, questions, ask for a name, simple. Then message, thanks, name, thanks, John. Um, what's your number? Can you tell us what uh, blah, blah, blah seems to be the issue? And Basically, we store that as a callback message. Um, now, 
When it comes to names and phones, there are pre-made variables for this inside of Landbot, so you don't have to necessarily think about storing it. It will just store automatically. Keep an eye on it. When it comes to this though, the actual reason why they want a callback, I'm storing that as callback message in a simple text um, field. From there, again, Airtable um, is the name of the game. Which table, callbacks, which action, add a record, name, name, phone, phone, notes, callback message and that's basically it finally we have our goodbye message uh, that basically uh, does exactly the same thing as the one above thanks name we'll be in touch with you on the number that you've provided we're basically confirming the information that that person has given us typically you should receive a callback within 24 hours um and that's it simple as that so that's it for me guys thank you so much for watching this particular video on uh landbot it's the first of quite a few videos i believe because there's so many different interesting applications to this the next video like i said is going to be on whatsapp and we're going to be taking a deep dive into how to set things up from getting a number how to hook uh, things up and how to build your first uh, simple chatbot with uh, whatsapp but yeah that's it for me thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one cheers